Oh, Rick, wow. I'm here for Hollywood First Look Features. Today, I am with Sunita Mani and John Reynolds, and we're talking their movie, Save Yourselves! <laughs> I, I wanted to tell you, congratulations. This is one of my favorite movies of the year. So clever. I wanted to know, what is it like to read this script? Because I feel like it's a page turner. You, you have to read it in one setting. It is absolutely fun to read the script. It was, I was so impressed when I, uh, when I got it, cause it's such a great premise. It's so funny. And uh, I love that it's sort of this two hand or this relationship story. And it lives in the like small details of, of their relationship, them against the world. Um, it is so well crafted. It was a page turner. Uh, it was a clear sell for me. Yeah, I think it was cool because obviously with Aliens, it's so grand in scope, but at the heart of it, it's just a relationship story. So it's actually a very intimate script. Um, and knowing all along that Sunita was going to play the other lead, uh, it was a very attractive um, script to me. I love this movie. I knew nothing about it. And I actually want to skip beyond this and talk to me about the sequel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Okay. And actually, okay. Actually, I'm. I wanted to know how did you two end up writing this masterpiece? Mm. <laughs> masterpiece. Ooh. Wow. That's that's well setting I have, up a high bar. I have to give credit to Eleanor because she came up with the idea for the film. Sure. Yeah. Um. I came up with it just uh, out of a deep fear of uh, <laughs> being disconnected and and not knowing what's going on in the world or with my family or what possibly could happen when you have your phone turned off. Um, so we just sort of took that to aliens yep. and uh, I told the idea to Alex and it was just like a kind of a perfect combination of the things that we're into and we decided to write it together and yeah, and it happened. That's right. Just like that. I mean, isn't, isn't that the way that it is though? It's just like, that's why we constantly are keep like looking, like we keep checking our phones yes. and keep looking and looking because they're like, wait, did we miss something? Did we miss something? Yeah, totally. They, they do that on purpose. Yeah, <laughs> that's by they design. Want, they want us to look here instead of at our other screen to you. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> exactly. So yeah. then what was your reaction to actually seeing the poof versus reading it on the script? They were practical, so they were on set. Uh, they moved, they were on remote control cars, they had, um, you know, a, a bionic tongue. Uh, uh, so they were a treat. They were fun to have. It was fun to see in what ways they were going to move or what sort of old school movie magic they were going to uh, try out that day. And from an acting standpoint, it was just nice to have something to look at and bounce off of. So. Um, I mean, they were fun and so cute and unassuming. And then when you actually see them kill, it is horrifying. Yeah, absolutely. I had an image in my head because I've stayed in Alex and Eleanor's apartment before in <laughs> oh, Los wow. Angeles. And they have a little footstool that is like, I think it's a bit classic if you look up like furry Ottoman or something like it's sort of the lambskin top thing with like the four oak wooden legs so I, I was like I thought it would have legs I thought it would be furniture <laughs> and um, when it was in front of me and I got to see just like how much work like the hand sewn <laughs> like refined nature of it it was really beautiful and also ominous and I thought it was a great like encapsulation of the tone of the movie I was not expecting it to be so like cute and also weird, uh, like so perfectly captured. Uh, so, yeah. Something that really worked for me in your film is the chemistry between John and Sunita. I don't know if they had a lot of time to prep together before you guys started shooting on set or just, they just really brought it and like, and you guys brought the directing and that's the outcome that we saw. Yeah, we, we, uh, we, kind of wrote it for Sunitha and, and John was just so perfect and they both have been doing comedy in, in Brooklyn uh, for like years and years and they have the, they make each other laugh and uh, they're friends in real life and all of that was what we were so excited about with casting them and they just look like this they look like this perfect Brooklyn couple and they're they're, they're just so great with each other so we we did a little bit of uh, rehearsal and stuff beforehand but they did they did it all just with 
how they are. Like they're just naturally very talented. Mm -hmm. It's so funny. Yeah. We're not checking our email either, guys, and we're not kidding. Okay. Bye, world. Okay. Bye, guys. Thank you. Like the premise of this movie, are you able to disconnect? You know, like 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 the characters do in this. Are you able to do that, or is that hard? Have you ever tried it? I have. Definitely for like road trips or vacations or even a couple weeks ago, just being like, you know, sending little messages and emails like I'm gone from this date to this date. But I still like, it's really hard not, it's it's just, it's right there. You can check your phone. Um, but I, I really do appreciate uh, the distance even more now in this time we're in, like from my technologies and like making an intentional, like, distance <laughs> from them uh but yeah i i have to also pair that with leaving the city or something like it it's both it takes leaving disconnecting from like new york city and also disconnecting from my phone to really feel like i can unplug <clears throat> i've definitely disconnected before i've been on like week-long rafting trips and stuff or i've gone to little cabins in northern wisconsin and stuff like that but uh like sunita said it's your phone's still there it still works i mean sometimes it doesn't when you're on uh, the river or something like that and i am overwhelmed with anxiety sometimes just uh knowing that my family can't get a hold of me but um yeah there are times when you can just look at the stars or look at some trees and uh that is nice and it, it is a nice escape because you know new york can be pretty all-consuming and um <laughs> Congratulations again. I want to see a sequel. So the movie is Save Yourself. <laughs> you can catch it out right now. Until next time, I'm Rick Hong, and you've been watching Hollywood First Look Features.